Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am very excited today because we are on the road and we are doing a mini Texas road trip to Belleville, Texas. The reason why we're going is to see a Texas castle that is in Belleville, which is about two and a half hours from San Antonio. Um, I know what you're thinking, like, why is there a random castle in Texas? Um, that's kind of exactly what it is. Um, there is a man who lives in that area who actually built this castle and he opens his home up to people six days a week to come by and take pictures and do tours. So that is what we are doing and it's been on my personal like Texas bucket list for a while now. So um, I'm very excited to go. The whole family's in the car and we should be there in just a couple of hours. So if you guys enjoy this this little travel vlog um, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe I will see you guys when we get to the castle okay so we just got to Belleville the little town and first we have to stop at the bakery this is the Newman bakery to pick up our tickets this is the same um, owner of the castle he also owns his bakeries Okay, so I went in and got our tickets. They give you wristbands and directions to Newman's Castle. So we will be on our way now. Walking to the castle. The bridge. The wooden part of the bridge is a functioning drawbridge. It does raise and lower. The chains that are attached to it go through the holes in the wall and through the gatehouse. Inside of the gatehouse is a large wheel. You actually get inside of that wheel and you walk like a squirrel cage or a hamster wheel. Your body weight is sufficient to cause it to evolve and it does raise and lower the drawbridge. The throws rocks. More specifically, you would call it a trebuchet. up the QX80 just to get it in the shot with the castle <laughs> behind the scenes This is the little church right here. And the one thing I've learned about exploring and traveling is make sure you always look up. is like the dining room area and there's a very large table here and a little balcony um, actually there's a balcony on both sides so if you come up these flight of stairs and then back around this way it takes you onto like a second level where you can come out here and take photos then there's some more stairs up here we are gonna see where they go exactly okay came up the next flight of stairs and there is like a third level up here It is 
so beautiful here. Um, not exactly stroller friendly just because there's some stairs and it's kind of like gravel so it's hard to push a stroller. It makes sense, you know, it's a castle. So John is down there um, with Audrey and I am exploring with John. Okay, so a few things that I learned about the castle. Um, the castle owner, Mr. Newman, actually built it himself with one helper. It took about eight years to construct and he came up with the plans himself. Um, and actually he's from the area of Belleville, so originally he was going to build like a ranch or something, but instead he decided on this beautiful castle. And if I didn't mention this already, Mr. Newman actually lives here. He lives in this castle, so it is actually his home. Um, and I just think that is absolutely amazing to just live in um, your own castle. <laughs> okay, so I believe this was like the second or third floor, and now we're gonna go up these stairs and see where they lead to. You ready? Okay, so you come out the stairs, and then you are at the very top. stairs are very steep you guys but wearing a dress it's okay if you've ever been to Rome if you go to the top where the cupola is the stairs are even worse to get to the top I think this is where you can ring the bells and this is the view I was climbing up these stairs, but I just see the bell. <laughs> I don't see anything else to see up here, so I'm gonna go back down. Okay, so I just looked up. <laughs> I think you can go up there. To be honest, I'm not sure, because the bell's like right here, so I'm just not gonna chance it this time. can walk all over the grounds it's really pretty there's like a trail over here this is actually that area where I was taking a picture because when you come back like this this is the shot so pretty okay so by the way that was where I was I was trying to get to the very top I actually looked up there but they just had the bells so I'm happy that I went as far as I did totally worth it waiting for me okay so I'm back in the car we are headed out the whole family's headed out baby did you have a good time yeah. what was your favorite part walking up the stairs the stairs that was fun they were like spiral stairs anyway it was so much fun and we're going to head back to San Antonio now by the way I'll wait till we get home and then I will give you guys my tips and my like final thoughts to visiting this castle in case you ever want to check it out for yourself as well. So it is much later in the day um, and we're back home now and I just wanted to sit and I wrote down some questions that I think maybe you guys might have if you're actually thinking about visiting the castle. So while it is fresh on my mind, I wanted to go over those questions and answers with you. And of course, now that we are back home, I have changed and I'm nice and comfortable. But one of the reasons why we went to the castle was to take our mommy daughter photos. So I kind of dressed Audrey and I um, similar like in the same color scheme so I will be sure to link both my outfit and hers down below in the description box for you I was wearing this gorgeous 
flowy dress that I love to wear um, from Express. Um, and then I paired it today with some white sneakers just so I could be comfortable walking around. And then I actually bought this statement headband. It's rhinestone and kind of gives me like all the castle vibes. So I bought that headband for today's outing. Um, and then Audrey's dress, I was so happy with it. I actually ordered it online. Um, and when it came in, I was like, wow, it's, it's even prettier in person, the perfect occasion dress. So again, I will link everything down below for you. Okay, so the first question I thought that somebody might have is, was it worth it? Yes, and you guys know, like even if I ended up not having a good experience, I probably would have vlogged it and then just told you guys, you know, my honest opinion. Um, personally, for me, it was worth it. I'm kind of, you know, really loving these mini road trips lately since we can't hop on a plane and travel across the world these days. So um, for me, it was, you know, a really great way to get my little fix. I do think it's one of those really random things to see in Texas. Um, so as far as like the actual experience um, in comparison to the price and everything, for me, it was worth it. So the castle is located in Belleville, Texas. That is about 1.5 hours from Houston, 2.5 hours from San Antonio, and 3.5 hours from Austin. Yes, you absolutely need a reservation to see Newman's Castle, so please do not watch this vlog and then just drive out there on a whim. You actually have to have a reservation. Um, literally, the when we got there this morning, there was actually like a car club or something that was being told to leave because they kind of just on a whim were going to go there. It was like 15 cars. They were told they could not do that. So yes, you do need a reservation. And then adult tickets are $20 and children are $10. Um, I'm not sure though on the age requirement for children, but like my son who's four, he was $10. And then they made it clear to me that if your child does not walk, like if you're gonna be holding them or in a stroller, so like a baby, then they are free. Okay, so this was probably the only kind of a little bit annoying thing. Um, so basically when you call for your reservation, um, they will actually call you the day before you're scheduled to go on your tour just to make sure you're coming. You do not pay for the tickets, you know, on the phone beforehand. Um, you actually drive to Newman's Bakery first, which is in the town of Belleville. Um, just a little bit annoying because you have to find parking, you have to go in, you have to stand in line, then you have to buy your tickets. Um, and it was actually kind of busy, partially because people were in line like me to, um, you know, get their tickets to go to the castle, but also there was just people there to eat breakfast as well. Um, but that's where you get your tickets. Then you drive from there seven minutes away and go to the castle. So that is how you get your tickets. Um, I wish, you know, maybe it was a little different. You could just get them straight at the castle, but I don't know, perhaps it is kind of, you know, the owner's way of getting us to go to his bakery. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, either way, that is how you get your tickets. Also, the ticket price does include um, a sandwich for each person. So, and the sandwich is actually really good. It's from Newman's Bakery. So just know that the ticket price does come with a sandwich. Okay, so basically when you get there, um, there's kind of like um, some introductions. The owner of the castle, Mr. Newman, Mike Newman, he actually will give the um, like introduction himself. He'll tell you about the castle, some different... I don't know, like history about the castle, how it came to be. And then after that, there's a couple of like ceremonial type things, which I, I kind of included um, in the vlog. Some of it I actually missed because <laughs> I was busy taking pictures. I wanted to hurry up and take my pictures um, before like it got crowded. Little did I know that that wasn't actually necessary. But anyway, so um, yeah, there's a couple little ceremonial things. Um, they kind of show how the drawbridge, drawbridge works because it is a functional drawbridge. Um, um, and then after that, you're free to roam the place, like all on your own, take photos and videos. So you actually, there's not like an actual tour, like there's nobody walking you around and taking you from room to room. So I did want to make that clear. But personally, I liked that just because we were able to go at our own pace and then we didn't have to be around anybody, you know, when it comes to like COVID precautions. So as far as COVID goes, um, everybody was wearing a face mask that I saw. I only took my face mask off if I was like by myself and I was going to vlog real quick or if I was taking a photo, but I, everybody was wearing a face mask. Now, 
when you first get there and we do that, there's like a little presentation. Everybody is kind of in the same area. That is the only time when I saw like a group form, but we kind of tried to um, stay off to the side a little bit. So we weren't around a lot of people. And then as I mentioned, once you go off on your own, it's such a big property that um, nev I never felt like I was, you know, right next to people. So um, I felt very safe. I think the people who would really enjoy seeing this castle um, would be anybody who is into beautiful architecture or anybody who is trying to do more local travel or if you are obsessed with castles like I am. Also, um, if you are somebody who is looking to do like a photo shoot, like maybe an engagement shoot, even a bridal shoot, they do that there as well. Um, there is a second time slot at 1 p.m., I believe six days a week, but it's $50 per person and you can do personal photography um, and take video. And I'm assuming it's a lot more expensive because by one o'clock, everybody from the first wave has left. So you probably have the property kind of like all to yourself. Also really great for kids, I would say specifically between the ages of like seven and 12, just because um, like obviously my son is for and I had read reviews about people complaining saying that it wasn't safe for small children but obviously you just use common sense I had my son next to me the whole time um, there are a lot of like winding stairs <laughs> and yeah so maybe I don't know I mean, we had a great time but I obviously wouldn't let my four-year-old just explore on his own but I did see some older kids there like closer to 10 11 12 who were having so much fun with the drawbridge and going up all the stairs to the very top um, so yeah also anybody who is a travel enthusiast like me um, I know it's been hard because we can't do like a lot of big travels lately because of COVID so something like this might kind of get you a tiny bit of you know your fix especially if you love Europe like me I'm dying to go back to Europe but I still can't yet due to everything going on but at least I got to see a beautiful European castle in Texas. So those are all the questions that um, I could think of but if there's anything else you want to know just leave me a comment down below in the description box. I'm actually so excited because I have several other um, mini Texas road trips coming up that I'm going to vlog for you guys and I can't wait to share. Um, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram for daily content. I would love to connect with you there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.